<laughs> okay, bagel lady, we ready. Okay, <laughs> now I worked at Atlanta Track Club, volunteer. So my job was to hand out the bagels, Einstein bagels, 500 bagels on the table. So when they finished the race, you know, I was to hand out the bagels. So here come these people running, getting sweating down. So here they come grabbing the bag. I said, uh -uh, you ain't put all that sweat on your food. She hunched over the bagels, trying to protect the bagel and get a sweat on it. Looking like the crazy bagel lady. I said, excuse me. I wish we like plain blueberry on, <laughs> you know, they be reaching over. I'm like, uh-uh. All sweat. I'm like, uh-uh. I said they probably were saying, don't go to that crazy bagel lady. Just wait till she leaves yeah. and we're going to get some bagels. Right. No. Mm -mm. Then the other one, can you cut my bagel in half? And I said, no, ma'am, I'm not cutting the bagel in half. You could just go away over there and just make a piece and throw it in the garbage. I'm not here to cut and slice bagels. Mm -hmm. <laughs> my job is to hand up the water. So I'm going to hand up the that. How long ago? Probably we the know? whole, um, when I, did, I didn't do anything last year because mm -hmm. I was so dang, the season before that. Mm-hmm. So, boy, <laughs> you end up in some peculiar uh -uh, situations. The Christmas wrapping paper. Oh, that was that was ninety. That was when I graduated from South Carolina. Ninety four. I graduated December fifth. Mm -hmm. Two days before I graduated, I already knew my last day at the mall. This was a free <laughs> service at Columbia Mall. All you had to do is stand in the big atrium and you get your free gift wrap, uh -huh. like wrapped up gifts. So here it is, people lined up down, you know, waiting to get their gifts wrapped. Here come this one little chick. <clears throat> now I'm you know, I'm precise, you know, cut the cut to the box and everything. No waste of paper, none, no uh -huh. cutting paper, nothing. I'm like <laughs> Professional gift wrapper. Professional gift wrapper. Here she comes. I don't like how this is done. Can we wrap it? No! You see all these people stand up there? No. Let me tell you what I'm gonna do. Here you go. <laughs> Here a piece of tape. She gave her the paper and the tape and told her to wrap her own gift. <laughs> wrap your own gift. <laughs> wrap your own gift. This is free. You know, if I get free service and you got the nerve to be unwrapping stuff. Yeah. And they're gonna have me stand there. Yeah. I didn't like the way this thing. Well, you know what? <laughs> but you know what? I'm going to tell you something. When you say to somebody, you know what? You are pissed off to the highest pissivity. You you done already worked out a situation. Okay. Highest pissivity. Pissivity. That, yeah. You know you wrong. When you say, you know what? Okay. I'm just ready to be an end to the, just getting ready to be the end. And they here, they come calling me in the mall office. I already knew I was going to quit that day. And I said, first of all, this is free. Uh, <coughs> who do you think decorated the whole mall? You know how you supposed to put all the decorations that I was doing? I was on that crew doing that. I said, it's my last day anyway. I graduate tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> the world is my oyster. I ain't got to wrap no fucking presents. Shoot. <laughs> 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 you can kiss my ass with this wrap paper. <laughs> I got a career to go get. <laughs> <laughs> I got a career to go I get. I mean, people be testing me. They testing me. I'm telling you, I do everything the best of my ability. But here they come. You know. Mm -mm. It was one time I went to Let me tell you about the rain incident and shit oh. last week. Last week. Uh, the, should have known. I should have known. Now the 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 son ordered the groceries online, so the and I'm delivering it to the mother. So they don't know how much groceries it was pouring down. Remember that time last week was pouring down raining. It was what Monday or Tuesday. It was. Yeah. Yeah. I ain't had no umbrella. I ain't had no jacket. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> I pulled up to the house on time because you know I said I ain't gonna be late with these yeah. groceries. So I pulled up. It was pouring down raining. So I, you know, I'm texting the the son. I'm thinking he's at the house. Mm -hmm. I said, Can you open the garage? <laughs> <laughs> He was like, oh, I'm sorry, the garage door can't open. Oh, boy. I said, well, where's the house? I'm looking. I said, okay, there it is. I said, at the corner. So I get to the house. I ring the door. The old lady, she opens the door. I said, I'm here to deliver the groceries. It's pouring down and raining. So I'm up there walking back and forth with the groceries. I said, man, can you open up the garage? Oh, we got all a bunch of junk. I can't, we can't open the garage. It's blocked. Mm. I walk back with all these groceries. Did they tip you? This was the son tell me, I'm going to tip you real good. 
Yeah. I think I got my but I think it was fifteen dollars, but for the for the but it was like a hundred bags in the oh. back seat. And I was going back and forth. The old lady was like, You still got more bags? Yes, ma'am. Moo. You still got more bags? I said, she said like five, six times. Yes, ma'am. When I'm finished, I'll let you know. You know, you come out here and grab some of these bags if you want to. <laughs> Go put on your shoes. <laughs> Go put on your shoes. I said, man, she was glad to help me with these bags. You know, but she was an old lady. And I had all these bags. Should you bags. give her the bread and the rice bag? <laughs> <laughs> Would you give her the bread and the rice bag? Hold your arms like this. <laughs> Here's the bag. <laughs> That's my too. I leave. I put the bread and the little stuff in the front seat, and then I got all the heavy groceries. Oh and then when I get up there, I say, "Okay, here you hold the bag of the, the bag with the bread." Man, she was like, "I mean, it took me about ten minutes to load all that bread bag. It still got some more. Oh my god, it still got more groceries." I said, "Yes, man." Then there was cases of water. Oh no! It was pouring down. <laughs> You gotta be too strong for that job. You gotta, like, you gotta be too strong for that job. I, don't know. <laughs> I can't do that job. I can't do that job. Was. Then you walking up steps, like uh-huh. you know, like, and then you know I'm already got weak in the in the, in the oh, leg. I'm like, oh god! Damn, I said I gotta go bite the stone mountain. I'm like, <laughs> blow it off. <laughs> oh, your arms out right here when I get to the door. <laughs> you can take this home and get to the house. Oh my gosh. Shoot. Yeah, I can't do that job. That's that's a rough one. I'm telling yeah. you. Then a little dog bit me. That's the lady with the cliff issue. That's why I got that thirty dollars for real. I'll tell you that was hush money. <laughs> I'm money. Cause I was about to call. Take this third dog, go buy you some band aid and some alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> go on ahead, put the band aid on, clean your wound. Don't tell nobody. Go get you something to eat on the way to the house. <laughs> That's no, like then, then I was in Johns Creek, and then the cops pulled me over. I'm in the. You know how you drive it, and, they, and you know they're in back of you. Yeah. Yes. So I put my signal like to turn. He, I turn. He turned. Then he gonna put it like Drew. <laughs> he said, "Man, I said, what happened? What do you do?" Then he saw all these little bags. I said, "Oh, I said, oh, I'm delivering food for Grubhub." He said, "Oh, is that is that like such and such?" I said, "No." They be want to talk about the shit. Why well, I want to talk about <laughs> it? I, I got pulled up one time with some ladies in the back seat at Uber. <laughs> he said he pulled me over because I stopped on the stop line, and the two girls in the back. They, oh gosh, they were so ratchet. The white girl, they were ratchet. I just picked them up from a wedding and they were drunk, right? I, and I'm up in the in the area where the, you know, prominent people live, you know, not many of me up there. You know, I'm like, I just, I just want to drive. I just want to, I had my hand on the wheel of tin and two. It's just on the wheel because I'm like, I don't want to get shot. I don't want nothing to happen to me. So she back here, she talking about officer, officer. Two, two white girls, two white girls, right? Officer, why'd you pull us over? And I just got my hands on the yeah yeah I just got my head on the wheel I just got my head down I'm like I'm finna be Billy Club and pepper spray here just a moment it was so I not want to scream shut up lady he gonna beat you he gonna beat the head out of me she told me you owe me you the meter still running you owe me a twelve dollars he said well I don't have twelve dollars to get you give you she said well I guess we should be on our way then. I'm like oh god he gonna drag me out the car and beat my ass. <laughs> Cause I'm sitting there. He's like, "What are you doing?" I said, "I'm I'm just picking up Uber." What is Uber? <laughs> now he want a lesson in Uber, you know. And I'm just trying to be polite. When she talking about, I gotta get home. It's like, oh God! I, any moment he gonna snatch over my door and tell me to get on the ground. I'm gonna lay down. <laughs> I'm gonna be real compliant. <laughs> I'm gonna just lay down. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh my God! No, but he was real nice though. He was like, oh, "Okay, well." Well, we go ahead. Okay, I know you says you're delivering. So that means if I wasn't delivering, it would have been a ticket for something. <laughs> <laughs> right, you'd have got a ticket for something. <laughs> Shoot, nigga, it's slick. That's why I said, you know what? I said, that's it. I said, why do I keep telling myself I'm not going to Johns Creek? I'm not going to this area. Here I am, be dragged over there. Then I was in Dun- um, Dun- 